Hey, this is Joe, and today let's talk about the power rule for exponents. That is, if I have a variable raised to a power, which is then raised to another power, well, that's going to be equal to the variable raised to the product of the two powers. Now, let's look at an example to see why this is the case. Let's look at x squared raised to the fifth power. So since we have x squared raised to the fifth power, we could rewrite this as x squared times itself five times, like this. And then we could expand each x squared term and replace it with x times x and get this line here, which is just x multiplied by itself 10 times. And when we have x times itself 10 times, it's the same thing as x to the 10th power. And as you can see, x squared raised to the 5th power is equal to x to the 10th power. And instead of expanding it over and over again, we could just use this rule here to jump to the final answer. In other words, using this rule, we could rewrite x squared to the 5th power as x to the 2 times 5 power, which is equal to x to the 10th power. So let's work with a few more examples. Say we wanted to rewrite x to the 5th power raised to the 6th power as x raised to one number using this rule. Well, using the rule, we could rewrite x to the 5th raised to the 6th as x to the 5 times 6, which is equal to x to the 30th power. Now, this isn't just the case for having one variable within the parentheses. Let's look at this example here, where we have x raised to the 5th times y squared times z to the 3rd, all of that raised to the 4th power. Now, it's important to note that everything is multiplied together here, and so we can use this rule and distribute this 4 and multiply it by each one of the powers. In other words, we get x raised to the 5 times 4 times y raised to the 2 times 4 times z raised to the 3 times 4. And that's going to be equal to x raised to the 20th times y raised to the 8th times z raised to the 12th. Notice in this last example, I commented on having to have all the variables multiplied together within the parentheses to use this rule. And that is because if we look at this next example, x squared plus y to the 7th, all of that raised to the second power, we cannot use this rule. In other words, you might think using this rule, this would be equal to x to the 4th plus y to the 14th, but that is not the case. That is because x squared plus y to the 7th, all of that squared, is equal to x squared plus y to the 7th multiplied by itself twice. We would have the binomial x squared plus y to the 7th multiplied together twice. And this should look kind of familiar. Whenever you multiply two binomials together, you've been taught to use FOIL, and if you don't remember how to use FOIL, you could check out this video here. And if we use FOIL on this, we'd get x to the 4th power plus 2x squared y to the 7th plus y to the 14th. So just remember when you're using this rule that everything within the parentheses has to be multiplied together in order to use it properly. I'm Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.